Hey there guys, I'm Jesse Crow, the Travelling Scientist, and today we're going to be talking all about the Ebola virus, answering three key questions. One, how does Ebola virus infect and make you sick? Two, what's going on with the current 2019 Ebola outbreak? And three, how are we going to solve this problem? Ebola gets its name from the Ebola River in the Democratic Republic of Congo where it was first discovered. And it's a filovirus because it looks like a filament. Filament. Filovirus. It's a filovirus. Phyla? I don't know. Anyway, there are six different strains of Ebola virus and I think it sounds best if I say them in the most Australian accent possible. Bundy Bugio, Sudan, Thai Forest, Bombali, Reston, and there. Enough with the names, where does the bloody thing come from? Well, calm down, Ebola is usually only found in certain animals in Central Africa. Things like fruit bats, gorillas, chimpanzees. But when you live in rural Central Africa, you don't just go down to the local IGA to buy some dinner, right? Sometimes you have to go out into the jungle and find your dinner. So sometimes an African person might go out hunting and they might come back with a gorilla or a chimpanzee for dinner. Unfortunately, if that gorilla or chimpanzee was infected with Ebola virus, well, now the whole family isn't going to be infected with Ebola. Thanks for dinner, Dad. Well, that's one theory of how the virus could have transferred from animals to humans. We don't know for sure. But what we do know is that when somebody dies from Ebola virus, it's tradition to have a funeral where all of the friends and family come and kiss and hug the body before they bury it. And everybody who does come into contact with the dead body usually comes down with Ebola and a lot of people die from it. It's a really sad tradition. I mean, everyone just wants to pay respect to their lost loved ones, but at what cost? Ebola does its damage by infecting two main cell types in the body. First, it infects cells of the immune system like macrophages causing them to release chemicals that promote inflammation and blood clotting throughout the body. The virus also infects endothelial cells. These are cells lining the blood vessels, damaging their vascular integrity, which leads to hemorrhaging. And as the virus replicates in these cell types and spreads throughout the bloodstream, your blood circulation is compromised, which damages many organs and tissues. For example, your gut lining is damaged and you get diarrhea. Your liver is damaged and you can't detoxify your blood. And as your blood vessels continue to degrade, your blood pressure plummets and patients usually die from systemic shock and multiple organ failure. It's really brutal. So now you know how Ebola works, let's get you updated on the current outbreak status as of June 8th, 2019. And to get the information on this, we're going to go to an exclusive report live from the United Kingdom with our very own James Armadale. James, what's going on? Hello, Jesse. This is James Armadale reporting live from London. And just looking into the current status of the Ebola outbreak down in the DRC, it appears that as of last week, there was about 1,866 people that have been reported as infected with the Ebola Zaire virus. And of those people, about 1,241 of them had passed away, giving the disease a whopping fatality rate of 67% by Jove. Now, this isn't as bad as the 2014 to 2016 Ebola outbreak, which infected nearly 30,000 people and killed over 11,000 people. Now, that was a fatality rate of about 40%, which is a little bit better than what they've got now. And although the outbreak that's happening now hasn't touched nearly as many people, health officials on the ground are still trying to get more international attention for this seriously deadly disease. Now, it's been pretty hard going down in the danger zone, but to get a feel of what it's like to be there in the Democratic Republic of Congo, we have a live reporter, our American Billy Bob, down there on the ground as we speak. Billy, old boy, what the devil's going on down in the DRC? Howdy there, fellas. This is Billy Bob reporting from the back streets of Kinshasa in Democratic Republic of Congo. Now it is a flaming mess down here. Turns out a lot of people don't even know much about Ebola. Matter of fact, a recent poll found out that 36% of the local population doesn't even believe that this disease exists. 
Now on top of that, there's been some serious violent militia attacks on the healthcare workers that are trying to deal with Ebola, making uh, treatment more difficult and promoting the spread of the disease around the local area. It's really bad. Seems there's a bit of a mistrust around the healthcare system and a lack of education around Ebola, which make it really difficult to get on top of this outbreak. Boy, howdy. Anyway, back to you, James. And we'll be keeping a close eye on the outbreak from here in London. Back to you, Jesse. And thanks so much to James Armadale, live there in London, and also Billy Bob, live on the ground in the Democratic Republic of Congo. That is first-hand information right there. Top stuff. Now let's look at the current vaccine development status. Now I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that health officials in the Democratic Republic of Congo are currently armed with an experimental vaccine called V920, which is shown to be extremely effective. The bad news is that there's only a limited number of these vaccines, and when someone gets the vaccine, it takes a little while for it to become effective. Recent reports have stated that the experimental vaccine, which they started using late last year, has shown to be 97.5% effective. This is incredible. It's produced by a company called Merck & Co, and it contains a completely harmless, live attenuated virus, which has been engineered to express a glycoprotein of Ebola. This lets the immune system become aware of how to fight against the current strain of Ebola, the Zaire strain, before it encounters it in real life. And the latest figures indicate that over 100,000 people in the region have currently got this vaccine, including over 28,000 healthcare workers. And the vaccine has definitely saved thousands of lives. So in conclusion, Ebola is a serious virus that causes a deadly disease which has no cure. And there is currently a serious outbreak of Ebola Zaire in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And vicious attacks on healthcare workers is making it really difficult to quell this outbreak. Luckily, we now have an effective vaccine, meaning that as we do manage to overcome this outbreak, we're definitely gonna be prepared for the next one. Anyway, that's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or learned anything, click the like button down below. And let me know if you have any questions or comments about Ebola virus in the comments section down below. Finally, make sure you subscribe for more traveling science every single week, and I'll see you guys next Science Sunday. Cheers.